excited, delighted, really pleased. Um, yeah, like you say, it's uh, well, it's, it's not dragged on for me as such. I've thoroughly enjoyed the role that the chairman asked me to do, uh, but pleased it's been sorted. How have you found it from then day one in caretaker charge up to the last game, a great point at Burnley and some great results in between? Well, again, like nothing, nothing's changed really from day one that the chairman asked me to to take charge of the team. That's that's what it is. I got the manager's head on as such, got the team organised, prepared. Um, the most important thing is is that we got out of the bottom three, but but we've obviously scored goals. We've played well. The confidence is back in the team. There's still a long, long, long way to go that we haven't achieved anything at this moment. But what we want to do is climb up that league as quickly as possible. How important has it been to get out of that bottom three? Uh, psychologically, it's been 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 great because we've we've been hovering around there or in there. We've had opportunities to before to get out of it, but it's the manner in which we've probably been playing as well, which has been been pleasing. Like as a manager or as a coach, you always want the points and the result first, but to get the performances that we have done. But that's the players. The players deserve all the credit. It's them that go out and get the results. It's probably them that's got me the job as well because because of, of the results they've done. Well, that was going to be my next, my next point. It's been quite key and obvious for everyone to see that the players just want to play for you. Well, it's, at the end of the day, I, I'm a great believer in when people say oh, they've stopped playing for the manager as such. Players play for themselves and play for their families, and that's all. The only thing I've asked them to do is come off the pitch, look yourself in the mirror, and say, "Look, I couldn't give it any more." And the result will take care of itself. And at this moment, uh, they're doing that and, and they're realising they need to do that to get the success that we've been getting. There's been some fantastic results and performances, particularly the Yorkshire derby against Leeds. Well, again, live on TV, you just think, wow, um, you want the result first, whether it be a boring game as such, but you you, you want the bragging rights as a, of a home win as such against your local rivals. As, but the pleasing thing was 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 the goals that we scored, the manner of the performance. So it was it was one of them games where, in the end, you don't want, you don't want it to finish because you're enjoying it that much. Sending the fans on, which again they've got to thank the fans. They've they've been fantastic. They've got behind the players because because I'm a great believer and say, keep saying to the players if if the fans can see that you're hundred percent committed, they will back you and cheer you on and support you. And obviously, like the performance again leads very rarely do they come. You've got to enjoy them as when they do come, but but they're, they're the standards the boys have set. You're obviously a great advocate of hard work comes first. Yeah, and that's the case of Monday to Friday. It does you can't just turn up on a Saturday and expect to switch a light switch on and expect it to happen. If you don't put the hours and the time in, and the hard work on the training ground, it, it won't happen for you on a Saturday. So so like I said, the the the, the praise goes to the players because because they're doing that Monday to Friday. And then the eleven that I'm picking, but again, sometimes it's not about the eleven that start; it's about the team that finishes as well. So even the boys that are on the bench at the minute coming on, they're actually performing very well as well. When you look back to that first game against Leicester, which now seems quite a long time ago, was it in your kind of mindset then that yeah, I want this job? Well, it's a fantastic football club. You look at the the stadium, the fan base, the the history of the football club. Um, in the Championship, we're one, we're one of the big clubs as such. So. It does tickle your fancy. You think, well, hang on a minute, I've got an opportunity here. And, 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 and like I said, the players deserve all the credit. I'm the one that's been picking the team as such. But um, unfortunately, I can't go over that white line and produce it. I can organise and prepare them and, 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 and things have gone well. But with it, like I said, we've achieved nothing at this moment. We want to move up this league as quickly as possible.